More on that breaking news. Ian Blackford stepping down as the SNP's leader at Westminster. Uh, let's get more from Downing Street now. Our political correspondent, Tom Harwood. Uh, Tom, he says that he is uh, stepping down. That's the phrase he's using uh, at the uh, party's um, gathering. But I'm just looking. He only told the Scotsman last week that he was looking forward to putting himself forward for re-election, hoping to be the MP to lead the SNP group out of Westminster for the last time. So what's happened in the past week? Yes, it's interesting, this story, because, of course, Ian Blackford is one of the most recognisable SNP MPs at Westminster. He's been in the job for five years, leading that group uh, in Westminster, of course, since the 2017 general election. But looking more closely at this, there was a, a, a reported attempt to oust Mr Blackford as the leader of the SNP group last month. That attempt attempt failed, but it seems to have uh, weakened him. And there does seem to be a lot of internal pressure within the group to uh, have him move on and have someone else take the lead. Now, a lot of this is to do with generational issues of leadership, but also the idea of having a sort of more free and perhaps open discussion within the SNP group. It's something that for years has been remarked to be incredibly regimented and in the way that it operates. Uh, and clearly there are some people who wish to be a little bit more outspoken, particularly, for example, on gender issues. I want mm. to read to you the comment of Joanna Cherry KC, a very prominent SNP MP herself, who has said in response to this news, I am pleased to hear this. It's time for fresh leadership and tolerance of debate and diverse viewpoints. I hope the SNP Westminster Group will now be left to choose our new leader without an outside interference and in accordance with our standing orders. Now, Joanna Cherry herself has been uh, uh, sort of coming into blows with uh, Nick Nicola Sturgeon. They have two very different views on the gender debate. Uh, Joanna Cherry sees herself as a, as a feminist who is uh, concerned about the SNP government in Holyrood's mood to, towards what's called gender self-ID and Nicola Sturgeon's more pro-trans rights uh, view of the whole debate. This has been a big schism within the SNP and to some extent this is feeding in to the whole affair as well. The other thing of course is the handling of the Patrick Grady affair, the former whip of the SNP group, who got uh, accused of a number of things. And the way in which that whole situation was handled uh, seems to be uh, under the microscope now. Of course, uh, Patrick Grady no longer sitting as an SNP MP, but he was throughout the investigation. So a lot of different moving parts here. But ultimately, it does show some disquiet and some disunity within yeah. the SNP group.